Michael in Ontario, Canada, thank you so much for contacting us and sending your very interesting question. Michael says, Leviticus 17.11 tells us life is in the blood. We see how blood donations save lives for those in need. I've wondered if a demon can be passed from a blood donor to a recipient. Michael, it can. If demons are in the blood line, they are spiritually in the blood because the life is in the blood and death can be in the blood. And I've known of cases of people who became demonized because of blood transfusions. Now, let me be clear. They do save lives, and I'm not opposed to blood transfusions. I have had blood transfusions. In fact, several years ago, I had blood clots as a result of knee surgery. They came in several days after these pulmonary embolisms hit my lungs and said, we have to do an immediate blood transfusion. Well, it was the middle of the night, but I grabbed my cell phone. I quickly called my wife. I told her what the doctors wanted to do, and I said, let's agree together in prayer now that the blood that will be put into my body will be purified by the power of Jesus Christ. So we prayed. We agreed. We spiritually cleansed that blood, and then, of course, I went ahead and had the blood transfusion without any problem. I have dealt with people who have manifesting demons as the result of blood transfusions. One particular case was quite interesting. A man manifested a Buddhist spirit. And yet he had never been involved in any kinds of Eastern religions. Nothing that had anything to do with Buddhism. And as we investigated this matter further and we interrogated the demon, we discovered that while he was serving in the armed forces in Asia, he was injured. He was taken to a Buddhist hospital. And there he received a blood transfusion. And he was not a Christian at the time. And the evil spirit said that it entered him through that blood transfusion. And here's what's interesting. The demon gave its name, a very strange name. And I said to the man, do you know what this name is? And he said, yes. That's the name of a hospital where they flew me to and I had a blood transfusion. Fascinating story. Can it be possible that through a blood transfusion you get a demon? It's kind of the ultimate soul tie if you understand that concept now a soul tie is a very deep sexual emotional physical fraternal business spiritual whatever association that you have with an individual so that you sort of become one with them you're connected to them you're tied to them and in those cases particularly when it's sexual and marital whatever demons the other individual has can pass on to you now that, of course, has nothing to do with an actual physical introjection of a substance into your body from another human being. Now, let's extrapolate this even further. What about organ donors and organ transplants? Same thing. Now, I'm not saying that every individual who's got a blood transfusion or an organ transplant has a demon. Likely not. But the possibility is there. And Satan is clever and he'll use what he can. So, if you are about to have an organ transplant or a blood transfusion, simply pray about it. Matthew 18 is powerful. It teaches that if two or more agree, the Lord will answer and he will act. So believe that scripture. Go to it in prayer with another individual. Particularly someone who is close to you and knows the power of prayer. And agree that whatever that organ transplant is, whatever that blood transfusion is, will be cleansed by the power of Jesus Christ and anything evil that Satan would try to attach to you through that medical process will be canceled by the authority that's in the name of Jesus. And then go ahead with the procedure and don't be fearful 
God will protect you. But a word to the wise, warning to those who go into these kinds of things and don't understand spiritual warfare and the working of demonic activity. That's why we write so many books. There's only so much I can say in a video like this and only so much I can teach in our seminars, but the books are there with you with detailed information. And of course, our International School of Exorcism is right there with you in the palm of your hand 24-7 with the information you need to fight off the devil. Hosea 4, 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Don't let that be you. This ministry offers you valuable information. Avail yourself of it. And learn the things that are going to keep you free from demonic harassment, torment, and intrusion. The most frequent demon that I deal with is the spirit of Jezebel, the most prevalent evil spirit of our age. This demon wants to destroy your health, your finances, your marriage, your family, and your church. Learn the tactics of Jezebel throughout history and in the time in which we live. My book, Jezebel, Defeating Your Number One Spiritual Enemy, is your key to overcoming this demon, which is more prevalent than at any time in human history. Get your copy today, Jezebel, Defeating Your Number One Spiritual Enemy. He took the curses away from me. Was he Bob Larson? Because he can help you. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers and a whole new direction in life. Oh, what a change, what a difference when you have an encounter with God. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. your support for this worldwide outreach to do what Jesus did. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.